So I start a little um, small project. I'm gonna build a power supply for my lab. Something that can go uh, from zero to 5.5 volt. The first thing you gotta do with any power supply is uh, find out what type of input you're gonna use in your power supply. Am I gonna use a switch mode or transformer based uh, voltage? So what I've decided here, I, I want to use a linear, I'm gonna make a linear power supply. So I'm gonna use a transformer to step down a main into to my power supply basically. So I found this power transformer here. I'm gonna test this transformer, see if it meets my need, if it can handle the current and the voltage that I need for my power supply. So the first thing you gotta do is um, find out the input voltage of the output voltage of your transformer basically. So here I've got uh, the AC side without rectifying anything straight from the transformer, I'm getting 12.3 volt. This meter is gonna measure the DC current when I'm stop pulling, and this is the DC voltage after rectification and smoothing capacitors. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my dummy load on, and I'm gonna start pulling one amp. As you can see, a one amp, the AC side still 12.1, the DC side from 15, 15 and a half is going to 14, 14.16 uh, later what I'll do later on I'll connect the scope here and uh, find out the ripple but at the moment I'm just trying to figure out the voltage drop on the transformer to see if this transformer is good for my power supply or not so that's one amp I'm gonna go into 2 amp I'm putting 2.1 amp uh, the input voltage the AC side from the transformer is still almost 12 volt uh, only 200 millivolt the DC is 13.34 from 15, so that, uh, that is almost 1.7 or so 1.8, I think, volt is dropping there. Uh, we go to 3 amp. This is 3 amp. Uh, the input voltage from 12.2 to 11.8, so that's 400 millivolt of AC uh, drop. Current is 3.1. And the DC side from 15.5 to 12.7. So let's go to 4 amp, that's 4.1. The AC side, 11.6. So that's uh, almost uh, 600 millivolt drop. The DC side is 12.16. And we go to 5 amp, 11.6. Uh, so that's almost 4 volts drop. We put in 5.1 amp, and the AC side it's 700 millivolt drop. That is a uh, 5 amp. If we go to 6 amp, this is more than what I want. The capabilities of the uh, voltage and the transformer is 800 millivolt drop on the AC side. We put in 6 amp, and we got 11.225. Say 11.2, so that is 4.2. 5 volt drop which is perfectly fine even with pulling 6 amp this transformer can handle exactly what I wanted to do because uh, I'm going to be the maximum voltage of my power supply is going to be 5.5 so there's enough headroom for my voltage regulator to to be able to output 5.5 without any voltage drop at say maximum 5 amp that I'm going to pull so let's just pull this down so um, at the moment, what you can see here, this transformer here, it's got multiple tabs. It's got another, it's got a 20 volt tab, 36 volt tab, and that 15 volt, so 12.2 that I got. Uh, the setup here, I have uh, two capacitors, 33,000 microfarad. Um, I got this switch here, so I can switch between having two capacitor as a smoothing cap or one capacitor as, as a smoothing cap. Uh, I will show you on the scope what effect does the, does that have. And obviously these are the meter and the dummy load. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use this uh, bridge rectifier for my final design. I was pulling 5 volt and this is pr pretty hot to touch. Although it's got a little heat sink. Uh, I need to look at the data sheet to see how much this uh, bridge rectifier can handle. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into my, we're going to turn my scope on. I'm going to connect the scope. To this little things that I have here. I'm gonna turn off one of the capacitors. And what we're gonna do here it's I will bring up the scope in a minute. 
Okay, uh, we just put it down now. Okay, as you got here, you can see. Let me zoom in. Okay. Now, what I need to do, I need to. To put this, I want to measure volt. There we are. I will change this. There we are, voltage. Okay, so tracking, we don't want it to track. There we are. All right. So I'm just putting the intensity of this down as well. All right, as we can see here. Okay, at the moment I'm pulling one amp. Let's see. All right. Okay, so I'm pulling one amp. This is with one transformer. As you can see here, we're getting 2.85 uh, millivolt, 285 millivolt of uh, ripple. If I introduce another transformer here into my circuit, as you can see here, we are on. Uh, bring it down. We are on 146 millivolts. So, introducing another transformer, as you can see here, from 245 that it was before, we got 146. So, it does help a lot. This is one amp, so let's go up all the way to four amp. Let's bring the scale down. This up and this down there. Okay, so I am pulling four amp as you can see here. here we got four amp, and as you can see here, we are 485. If I turn off one of the capacitors. As you can see here, with just one capacitor, you can see we got 945 millivolt with one capacitor. If I introduce another capacitor, as you can see here, we got 475 millivolt of ripple. That is at 4 amp. Let's go all the way to 6 amp. Okay, that's a bit too much. Say six amp. Here you are, as you can see here, we pull in almost six amp. Well, there's six amp. And what we got here as a ripple. Here we are, 610 millivolt of ripple. That's just with both capacitors kicked in, and this is with one capacitor. So I'm 100% sure if I add another capacitor to this, I can half this um, ripple as well, bring it even further down. So what I do, I might, as you can see here, these are the two capacitors that I have. I might have another two capacitors, so I have four capacitors in total to bring uh, the voltage down to the ripple down. Uh, we can try and see how that works. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a very big capacitor i got one microfarad capacitor i'm going to connect that into the circuit and see just the difference that that makes into the circuit so i'm going to put the camera down here to where it was before Let's go here so i'm going to stop this i'm going to go down here This is the capacitor that I'm talking about. It's a huge capacitor, as you can see here. It was it was meant to be worked uh, used in a car audio system, but I'm just gonna test it here just to see what kind of effect it will have on the ripple. So just gonna make sure that this is right. That's the plus side. Okay, connect the last side here and that's the negative side I'm gonna start pulling current okay as you can see here 
I don't know, one microfarad capacitor has reduced the ripple to 450, so almost 200 milliwatt drop in ripple, which is which is not bad. That's fine. I'm not gonna. This was just a test. I'm not gonna use this because this is huge to put in my uh, in my uh, power supply box and it's very heavy and chunky. So what I'm gonna do. I might add another two of these capacitors because they're quite small. I'm, I'm gonna add another two of these to um, put it into my power supply. So this test has showed me that this transformer is perfectly adequate for what I wanna. Uh, accomplished for my power supply it can handle the current and the voltage that I need for my power supply uh, we have uh, we have figured out the capacitors that we're gonna need so I'm gonna have four of these capacitors in my power supply so these will handle all the ripple and uh, the current that I'm gonna be start pulling from my uh, from my power supply and uh, so the next video I'm going to talk about is uh, what type of regulator am I, am I going to use. Am I going to use um, a regulator which is based on the LM series, like the LM317 or LM350, or I'm going to make my own voltage regulator which can go from um, uh, it can go to zero. If I'm using the LM series voltage regulators, they can only go to um, uh, 1.25. They can't go to, z to zero watts. So that's one thing I need to decide. Do I need a power supply that can go to zero volt, or do I need a power supply that can, you know, zero volt is not an issue. Uh, one thing that I need to have on my um, power supply is constant current because, as you just saw from uh, from the test that I did, this transformer can easily produce seven, uh, six, seven uh, amps, and uh, I don't want the whole, you know, amperage of the power transformer to go straight into my output. I want to be able to control the current. Uh, in my tra in my pra uh, power supply, so this is the first video. I'm going to do a couple of videos. So the first, the next video is going to be the voltage regulator test. Uh, then, then the video after that is going to be the voltage reference. Then the video after that is going to be the current uh, measurement and the current switch. And the last video is going to be putting everything together into enclosure and test in a second. So uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching and until next video, goodbye.